after a King 5 investigation exposed the Army turned its back on some of its most vulnerable soldiers with PTSD. Two struggling veterans who served in Washington have new hope. As Taylor Murphy and Dureski reports, years after the veterans were booted from the Army, the military has delivered life-changing news. A corner of Jeff Smith's Arizona home first unit is dedicated time. to his decade-long career in the U.S. Army. The flag was actually flown. Memories from his three combat military tours to Afghanistan, back. where he was an infantryman, a decorated soldier stationed in Washington and considered by bosses among the best. You know, we did good things. But five years ago when we met him at his Lacey home, he wasn't showing off his military service. He was packing up a trace of it. Should have picked a different career. He could hardly talk about his career because of the way it ended. Thank you for all your sacrifice. Here's a kick to the stomach. Have a nice day. It was pretty much what it felt like. Smith's combat-related post-traumatic stress disorder was too severe for him to stay in the military. Doctors said he needed help. But instead of getting out for medical reasons, in 2019, a high-ranking Army official made a choice to punish him to kick him out with a piece of paper that reduced his military career to three words, other than honorable. It's almost like having a cloud follow you every single day. Veterans advocates describe it as a U.S. scarlet letter. In other than honorable discharge strips veterans of guaranteed access to a wide network of benefits, like services from the Department of Veterans Affairs. There's a, a deep tragic irony there because essentially you're blocking the veterans who may be the most in need. For some, the discharge status also makes it near impossible to secure housing, to land jobs. Employers ask that question, you know, well, what was your discharge? I dreaded, dreaded hearing that question. Yeah, I got turned down on quite a few jobs because of that. There's just a very common misconception that if you got kicked out with a less than honorable discharge, you must be a real dirtbag. The Army kicked out Smith for misconduct. He showed up to work drunk and got a DUI. But his military medical records show his PTSD, the condition he got by serving our country, was the very reason he was abusing alcohol. In battle, Smith says he felt helplessness. <sighs> listening over to the radio to his friend die. He couldn't understand why his friend died, but somehow he survived three separate IED blasts and this firefight. I was sure I was dead. He also clung to the horror of walking with his platoon through an Afghanistan village right after the U.S. military hit it with mortars. You know, you see kids burnt up. You know, you see toys and stuff on the ground in schools and women burnt up no, that's it's somebody's kid over there that was just <sighs> years ago we highlighted smith's fight for help <laughs> in a king five investigation in her series no thank you for your service king our five. reporting showed how army leaders repeatedly failed to act on the advice of their own medical experts kicking soldiers out as troublemakers instead of people who need help. It feels like your world is crumbling. We also featured this sheltered veteran, Cord Ball. We, we witnessed like a mass slaughtering where the Taliban went in and came, like, killed, I think it was like 200 people or something like that. He too had severe PTSD. More than once he tried to kill himself, but against the advice of his doctors, an army official kicked him out of the military with an other than honorable discharge because he smoked weed. I knew I served honorably. It like tore my soul apart. This is Cord Ball today, speaking to us from his home in New Hampshire, where he's working in construction five and a half years after getting kicked out. I feel like I gave up on a lot of dreams because of that. He says the other than honorable discharge status and the barriers that came with it piled on to his mental health problems. I've been in the dark spots of losing my self. Doctors warned that could happen before the army kicked him out. But Ball and Smith kept fighting. Because I thought I deserved it. They used a process Congress created decades ago to correct military injustices, asking officials to upgrade their military status, given the facts we highlighted in our series. And nearly three years after asking for an upgrade, Dear Mr. Smith, last fall, Smith got the results. I almost couldn't believe it. The military voted unanimously to give him full honors, writing his other than honorable discharge was inequitable, that his PTSD 
outweighed his alcohol-related misconduct. Your story did have an impact. What you did actually meant something, and it, it worked. It's pretty mind-blowing as far as the effect that it had. Just over a year ago, Ball also like, got something he'd waited years for, his upgrade granted an honorable discharge. It was this highlight of my life. The Army Review Board found his other than honorable discharge status also was inequitable based on his quality of service, including combat and his service related mental health conditions. Uh, it's just the feeling of something being an injustice and then that being corrected by the government felt felt good, felt trustworthy. As for Smith, he says he's still dealing with his PTSD, but he's getting treatment and has made much progress rebuilding his life. He has a job in private security. He's going back to school. And with an honorable discharge, he's finally celebrating his service. I wouldn't have stayed there for 10 years if I didn't love that job. Getting kicked out kind of ruined that sense of pride. Um, and now having it back is, it's everything. There's recently been a big push and even class action lawsuits aiming to help more veterans in similar situations to get justice through a discharge upgrade. Veterans attorneys tell me there's been much progress on that front, but there's still a problem in the service. The Army declined an interview, but those attorneys say they are still seeing cases where veterans are wrongfully punished for behaviors related to their combat trauma. In the newsroom, Taylor Muirfender-Rusky, King 5 News.